He was born enslaved, joined the Patriot cause in the American Revolution, and became one of the most valuable spies of his generation. So who was the real James Lafayette? It's in Virginia that his story began, where James was enslaved by the Armistead family. But in 1775, the American Revolution began, and as the war raged on, both armies needed more troops. So the call went out for volunteers, resulting in many enslaved men signing up to be soldiers on both sides. James joined the Patriot cause and teamed up with the Marquis de Lafayette, a French aristocrat who had become a major general of the Continental Army. And it was then that James became a spy. We don't know if he posed as a runaway slave or perhaps a forager selling food to the British troops, but James managed to move freely between camps during the war, gathering and relaying intelligence back to Washington's headquarters. James's reports helped the Patriots win the siege at Yorktown, which ultimately led to the British surrender. But unlike the enslaved men from Virginia, who had served in combat and received their freedom for their efforts, James, who had not taken up arms, remained enslaved. Frustrated by this injustice, he petitioned the Virginia General Assembly for his freedom and was denied. But on another attempt in 1787, he received an unlikely boost, a personal letter of support from the Marquis de Lafayette himself. Finally, a free man, James took Lafayette's last name as his own and used his military pension to purchase a farm. But his remarkable story does not end there. Because in 1824, James was able to once again come face to face with the Marquis de Lafayette. During the Marquis' tour to celebrate the anniversary of the American Revolution, he spotted James in the crowd. The pair came together and shared a warm embrace. It was a fitting end to one of the most successful intelligence relationships in US history. Why do you think James Lafayette was successful as a spy during the American Revolution.